Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei channel. In this video, we're going to do this very interesting cracked face effect in HitFilm Express. Before we begin, do me a favor and like this video and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon for notifications. It really helps my channel. Also, if you know anybody who'd be interested in watching this, please share it with them. Thanks, and I appreciate it. So this actually is a pretty easy effect to accomplish. However, there are some pretty major limitations. If you have any footage where a person's skin is moving or stretching, for example, if they're speaking or if they're turning their head or something like that, then you won't be able to make this look very realistic. So you need some pretty specific footage. Of course, it will always work on a picture. So I have this footage of this pretty girl and I'm just going to make a composite shot and you can see that the camera moves around here with her and what I need to do is track her face movement on this so I'm just going to open up the transform properties and then I am going to insert a new tracker and I'm going to zoom in using my mouse wheel I will go ahead and place this tracker box on her right eye and then I am going to add a double point track and I will place this box on her left eye and then I will go ahead and start the tracker and if you need to learn more about how to do single or double point tracking I will leave links in the description below to tutorials for both of those. So now that I have completed this track and of course her eyes didn't blink which really helped a lot uh, but if they did blink then I might have to track something else like an eyebrow or I would have to manually track through that blink um, then I can go ahead and selecting rotation and scale I will transform this to a new point let me create a new layer new point and then under the tracker I will transform to that new point and click apply so now when I go back to the viewer tab, you can see that that new point is attached. It has the rotation, the scale, and everything, all that data in it, which is what I will need for the cracked face effect. I went on to Google and found some pictures of different cracked paintings, uh, and I decided to use this one. I'm just going to drag this into my footage. and turning off the visibility of it for just a second. I will go ahead and rotate it and put it into position here. And I think I will scale it down somewhat. I just basically want it to cover her face. And then I will go ahead and parent that footage or that picture to the new point. So now it moves as her face moves. Now I will go ahead and use a mask to draw out where I want those cracking effects to be. So turning off the visibility for a second, I think I will go ahead and mask up here around her forehead. And I will just do something like this. And I think maybe I will go ahead and add a second mask here on her cheek like this. And then I maybe I will do a third mask a little bit more coming down and crossing in front of her lips like this. If I had um, created a mask that encompassed her eyes, then I might have to use a subtract mask to remove those from there. Okay, so now you can see that I have um, three add masks. Uh, and like I said, I may need to use a subtract mask and I think I will because I don't think I want it on her lips, just on her face. So turning that off again, I think I will just go ahead and add a, another mask right here so that it isn't on her lips, just on her face this way. And I think I'm probably far enough. And yeah, okay. And then I will make this a subtract mask so that that has been removed, okay. Uh, and then when I'm happy and I've set up all those masks 
and the effect seems to stick fairly well to where I'm at, then there are a couple of things that I want to do. The first thing I want to do is I want to change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Okay, so that will help a lot. The second thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and feather those masks just so they're a little more ingrained into the shot realistically. So I'm just going to up the feather strength of each of these like this. And then last but not least, I'm going to add a curves effect so that it I can, I can make some adjustments. The biggest adjustment I want to make is I want to drag the top of the effect over to sort of crush out the blacks a little bit. Uh, and then I may want to add a little bit of an S curve just to increase the contrast of that slightly, but I don't want to go too much on that, just a little bit in it, just sort of to taste. Uh, and then going back to this, that is it. Right now, of course, like I said, you can always do this on a picture because there's no movement going on or anything like that. But basically, in a nutshell, that's how you do this effect. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.